What is up, everybody? Drew back with another custom review. It's after Halloween. And I gotta say, this Mandalorian costume, when I first opened it up, uh, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's got uh, a lot of detail for what it is. Uh, you can see that, I mean, just standing back, from it, 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 you know, it does have a lot of detail uh, in the graphic print, um, but there's, you know, things that could be better. I mean, this is just a basic version from Ruby's. Uh, you can see that here it's a, it, it's got a nice shine to it the, for the Beskar armor that the Mandalorian wears. Uh, there's a couple padded things you can see the sigil over here uh, this arm gauntlet piece that's attached is padded as well um, the the chest is padded uh, slightly it, it's it's like a very thin foam sort of piece uh, and the shine goes through the upper chest uh, a couple portions here, here, here. Uh, but everywhere else um, is just the regular fabric. Uh, so the chest is the only area that has the shine. But it does stand out. Uh, this uh, strap, it's attached. It's stitched attached uh, onto here. So it's not going to come off. So that is a piece that is actually on the jumpsuit itself. Uh, the belt uh, is a separate piece. Uh, it might be a little loose. At least it is on this mannequin here. So you may need to get uh, just some safety pins or something so that it, it stays on your waist if you have a, if you have a tighter waist. Going down the leg here. Uh, because this is on the mannequin, the mannequin isn't actually uh, six feet tall. Uh, it's actually shorter. It's actually four feet. So this leg is a little scrunched up. But you can see here, I'll back up. You can see the full length that, you know, it does go down all the way to the floor. So the, this is uh, a pretty good height for someone that's six foot. Uh, anyway, going down the leg... Uh, this piece is not padded. It's just fabric. So that's uh, one of the design decisions that I don't really like because I, I like these armor pieces to be padded. I think, you know, this piece could have had the similar shine to up here to make the legs stand out too. But again, that's not my decision. <laughs> um However, the attached boot cover is a foam piece, so it will stand out a little bit. Um, going around, actually we can do the helmet, the uh, half mask. It does have some shine to it. Again, this is the forged uh, new Beskar armor that the Mandalorian wears for a majority of the uh, show. Um, they were thinking about doing a um, the old armor, the battle damaged armor, but they ultimately decided to go with the new one. So uh, the helmet, you can obviously see through the eye hole. So if you want that mystique of not being able to have anybody see your face, just cover that up with some black film that you can see through and that should do the trick so it's very it's very easy to very easy to see through but depending on how large or small your head is you might have some difficulty wearing this mask just due to the shape of the sight lines so it is a it is just a half mask so if you're looking for something a little bit more grandiose, you're going to have to look elsewhere than this costume. 
going around the backside. It does have a cape, which is nice. Yeah. So the cape is just a basic fabric cape, but it gets the job done. Uh, you can see that the belt is falling down there because it's too loose on this mannequin. So my point stands. Uh, the belt attaches with fabric, so you can remove it if you want. Or uh, Velcro, sorry, not fabric. <laughs> uh, the back side features graphic print on it as well. So it goes all the way around. Uh, the cape is nice to cover this. Oops, sorry. The cape is nice to cover up this uh, odd uh, thing that's going on back here because uh, the back side is only attached by some simple Velcro and it leaves some things open. So again, graphic print here. Uh, the belt attaches to itself with Velcro. Uh, I tried to get this as uh, close as I can, but again, it, it's just too loose for the mannequin. So again, if you have a smaller waist, that might be a problem for you. But that is pretty much it for the Mandalorian costume by Rubies. I'll give you guys a close up. The difference in fabric there. And the shine. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video of The Mandalorian, make sure you like and subscribe. And then comment down below. See what you want me to review next. I enjoy doing these. Hey guys, if you liked that video, click on the right icon to subscribe to see more videos. You can also click to the left to see more videos and more reviews. If you want to see something reviewed, comment below.